Good morning, guys. Um, I'm kind of in a slump, to be honest. But I'm determined to have a good day. I'll explain it later. But I, I know I need to get myself out of bed. Too. <laughs> uh, welcome to the vlog, guys. I know my hair is so greasy. But just like... <sighs> okay, starting from the beginning, I am running on very low sleep. I mean, I just recently moved and I do feel settled, but when I can't sleep, it just really throws me off and it usually starts with like a couple days of me having really bad dreams. <sighs> and then two nights ago, I could not sleep, which is really nothing new for me. This happens like all the time. Then randomly, I, while I was tossing and turning, I started the selection series, the book, which I read in like middle school. And all of a sudden I was thinking about it. I was like, I'm going to read that. That's going to come in later. <laughs> so yesterday I was on like three hours of sleep. I need to do something with my hair because I know it's like not giving right now. I'm not giving. So, okay. Whatever, at least I like, can't touch it anymore. So I was running on like three hours of sleep. Got in sweatpants and I had a lot of work to do. So I edited two videos, just was doing a lot of computer work. And then throughout the day, I was also reading the book, the first <laughs> selection series book. And I finished the book and I was just going back and forth and I was productive, but I did not leave my house once yesterday, except for to walk a block to get takeout for dinner and I was fine yesterday because I was so into my book like I started the second book and I think it threw me off more than I thought it did yeah because then last night could not sleep again so I was just reading finished the second selection book at this point I'm two books in that's how much I've just been reading and like I don't know I think I don't know and every time I would like get tired I would like put my book down but then I would just get way too stressed to fall asleep again and I don't know why I think also like a little bit I'm feeling like a little bit homesick and I like love my space in my bed but like sleeping here it doesn't really feel like my room yet so that's probably part of it and then could not sleep again so I finished the second book um started the third didn't go to sleep till like 4 a.m <sighs> tried to wake up at 7 30 again today because Sometimes I try to wake up earlier and not nap throughout the day so I can fall asleep and that didn't work last night And so now I'm like really low on sleep But then like turned my alarm off and woke up at 9 30 and that's where we are now now that i'm talking it out It really doesn't feel like a big deal at all. I think I just like I feel really off I think what feels off is I like didn't want to get out of bed today And I don't want not in like a super dramatic way But like I didn't want to do anything today and I didn't work out yesterday which happens but then like I was planning on working out this morning and now I don't want to because I just like don't want to leave my apartment again. I know that that's like the root of the problem. Like I think if I left yesterday and like went outside or went to the gym or just like walked outside a bit, I would have felt a little better. And I think also the issue going back even more, Sunday and Saturday, I literally was in my apartment on my couch just editing, editing, editing. And like those days I did a little bit better about going to the gym and stuff. But anyways, I need to like get out of my house today, even though I do not want to. So put on some real clothes. This is like my comfy version of an outfit. These jeans are literally like sweatpants. Instead of going to the gym right now, because I don't think that is like I'm just not in the mindset, I am going to go get my favorite coffee and sit there and catch up on some work on my phone and then I think another thing that's causing me stress probably while I'm sleeping is my closet situation because I had that's like one of the things I haven't unpacked yet there's these like dresser dresser drawers from Target and I just need to go 
pick it up and bring it here because I tried to deliver it and they don't deliver it because it's so big but I'm pretty sure it's light so I'm gonna go get coffee stop by Target come back here and see how I'm feeling so yeah I'm actually really excited to show y'all like my day and my life in New York because this is my first day in my life in New York video but I'm just being transparent I just like don't feel I'm like struggling adjusting a little bit but we're gonna figure that out today I will go to the gym and I know I keep in my boom boom vlog saying that I'm going to show y'all my gym. I just haven't, um, but I will today, hopefully. <laughs> okay, I think I decided a slip back bun will be my best attempt at looking and feeling presentable with my greasy hair. I didn't wash my hair last night because I planned this morning to work out, but we're postponing that. So hair needs to do something. <laughs> to keep this momentum going coffee was great <sighs> went to target so my closet organization is the only thing that i haven't really gotten to yet so i obviously just picked up this so the other day i tried to get well i tried to get this delivered but this one came the small one but it actually is like the perfect space and now along with the stressor i got I will have more room to organize this. I still have like four bags of clothes, so I need to like make this organized and then hang up my clothes. And I think that'll make me feel better. I think I just need to remind myself that even though I'm being productive being at home, I need to like get outside. And that is like what I was worried about working for myself and doing this full time. And like I need to remind myself not to freak out because I'm still like figuring it out and like figuring out what works for me. And I know that staying at home does not work for me. So that's my update on my mental state. Okay, about an hour later, I feel good. <laughs> like this is much more manageable. Feeling good about that. I still need to work on organization up here, but put all my bags in this bin. Those are my winter clothes. And then still like kind of figuring out how I want to organize these shorts. <laughs> Only thing is I took that basket for my bags. So this, shelf needs work and then i need to figure out where i'm gonna put the stuff in this box but like that looks so much better I feel really good about it i do need to eat i just oh don't know what to make i don't really have food here but i don't want to go grocery shopping because i'm leaving today's tuesday i'm leaving on thursday <sighs> 
have like two Trader Joe's meals, but neither of them sound good. Ooh. I don't want to like leave my apartment again to go get food, but I guess I'm already dressed, so maybe I should just go pick up like a Caesar salad wrap or sweet green, but nothing sounds good to me. I think that's the issue also. I haven't really been eating nourishing meals, but then like I get to the point where I'm so hungry and then I don't want to like go and make food or go get food. Maybe I'll just go get a Caesar wrap. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm so excited for this. Your wrap added onions. Mmm. Okay. Oh my god. Okay, don't cry. They made me the wrong one. That's fine. Not really. They gave me the spicy one. So it literally has like huge chunks of jalapeno. So I asked for a side of the spicy Caesar on the side. Oh my gosh, and they didn't even... I understand what happened. So I asked for an extra spicy Caesar on the side with the, my regular chicken Caesar wrap. Instead, they made me a spicy Caesar wrap with spicy Caesar on the side. I'm literally so upset. It's so spicy too. Should I go back? The thing is, is it's like so finely chopped that I can't even pick out the jalapeno. Okay. I think I should go back, right? I always feel bad giving back food, but like it was $15 and I don't think I can, like my mouth is on fire. I can't really handle spicy things. I waited so long for it too, probably because they were like confused because it was a complicated order, but it wasn't. Okay, I will be back. New app secured, however. I have low confidence that it's actually correct. I think they were still confused, but at least I've tried like, if there's still jalapenos in it, then there's still jalapenos in it. Moment of truth, guys. I'm very fragile. And I'm scared. <gasps> oh my gosh, this is the best day ever. They made it right. I'm so happy. It was worth going back. Because this will fuel me for the rest of my day that I have a lot on my to-do list. And I'm starting to get stressed. But I'm just going to enjoy my lunch. And then we'll get to work. Mm-hmm. Now that I have food in my body and my closet's all organized, it's time to talk about the sponsor of this video, Revolve. So excited. Revolve is on YouTube shopping, so the shopping button, I think it'll pop up like down below. First, this top I've been wearing all day, such a fun summer pink. I got a lot of fun little tops that I'll show you. And then I got an amazing pair of shoes which i actually don't know where they are at the moment i need to find them but i'll find them in a second um so this top it's like kind of ribbed but i think the color is so pretty i love this this will like kind of carry me into fall it actually came with matching pants but i just got this for now i might order the matching pants it's from frankie's bikinis and it's so soft and like such a good material I need to fix the I got it in a size medium and it has a little hood, but I feel like I'm always cold everywhere and this can be like dressed cutely or it's just a good like casual little sweater if I don't want to wear like a sweatshirt and like genuinely so cozy. Okay, next up, two little tops from Lioness. I love this color. It's like a little corset top with lace detail. I also like that it's not super cropped. I would suggest maybe sizing up i got a size small in this and i have small boobs but but i feel like i probably could have gone up size and it has adjustable straps anyways but i really love this color and i think it can be dressed up or down then i love this top this is actually another top this is actually going to be like a trend but it has a matching skirt that i wish i would have gotten and actually might still order and it's just like it's the same and it has a little bow and it's satin but this is like basically, I feel like a like dressier version of that last top. I love this one. Straps are super stretchy and comfortable. This fabric is just really nice. And then it zips on the side. I actually found the shoes. These are Sam Edelman. Something about New York is literally no one wears like sneakers out, which I know. And I think that's just like post-grad life in general. So I'm trying to get like cute, comfortable 
shoes and i'm so excited for these i feel like these are super trendy right now this is like everything on revolve they're these little black ballet flats I'll show you them with this outfit i'm actually going to dinner tonight with some girls who went to ut so i feel like this might be my dinner outfit maybe not these jeans because like i said earlier they're kind of long these are what the shoes look like they're like mesh on the side they hide your little toes they're just actually so comfortable and i feel like kind of a ballerina when i'm wearing them in a good way okay last but not least a little more on the athletic side this top from well-being this is like a really nice athletic material and it actually again you guessed it came with matching a matching like skirt um but they didn't have my size so i'm gonna wait for it to come back in stock and then i think i'm gonna order it because Again, this is just like a really cute athleisure fit. <sighs> Again, going to my issues that I've been having for the past couple days, I feel like I need to get dressed for the day because today I have felt like way better dressed. But sometimes I don't, like if I am just working from home, I don't want to wear something like super uncomfortable. So a cute little athleisure set that I can dress up with like jewelry and a cute purse, I think, is key. So thank you, Revolve, for sponsoring this video. Again, y'all can shop down below at this little button. Now I'm going to do some computer work, I think. Okay, here's the issue I have with reading. I have to refrain myself because I will literally get rid of all my responsibilities and just want to read. And I'm about to sit down. I haven't, I haven't like spent a ton of time on my book today. So I'm going to let myself read for 30 minutes, maybe an hour, and then I'll do some computer work. I just finished like a few emails, but like, I'm like, okay, I just want to read. And I think that is the way that my stress is coming out too, is that I'm just so stressed and I know I should be doing more things, but something about reading, it doesn't feel the same as like scrolling on TikTok or watching a show. It feels like I'm being productive, but I do know that I'm not and I should be doing other things, but it makes me happy. So I'm going to read my book for like 30 minutes to an hour. I'm on the third selection book. We'll probably finish it today, and then I'll do what I actually need to do. My camera might die any second now. Been reading for like an hour. Filmed all the things I need to film for other videos, and I'm putting on this little Kiehl's clay mask. My skin gets so oily when my hair is oily, and it's just bothering me, so doing this little deep cleansing pore mask to kind of feel... A little more refreshed i know i said i was gonna go to the gym but now i am like feeling like a homebody again and i don't want to leave my apartment which literally is what has happened to me for the past few days but i'm going to dinner at 5 30 and it's already like almost four so which like i definitely have time to go to the gym but i might go after dinner might not go today sit i don't like doing my whole face just because it can be a lot to take off, but gonna keep working slash reading slash relaxing. Whatever I feel up to in that moment. <laughs> okay, quick five minute makeup routine as I get ready for dinner. I'm wearing the Revolve shirt and I'm gonna wear my new Revolve shoes. I'm just gonna do kind of like light makeup. I'm really excited. I'm going to dinner with my roommate Lauren and then Megan, who y'all have seen in the vlog. She moved to the city too. She's in my sorority and then this girl that we met also named Audrey. We have like a lot of mutual friends. She also went to UT. We we're all going to like a Tex-Mex restaurant because we all miss queso. Like made us reservations and I'm excited. Hello. Face mask everywhere still. It really helps moving to New York that I know so many people already here more just like i know oh, i just got that on my pants more just like i know a lot of mutuals and acquaintances to where like i have opportunities to get closer to people but i also have like some really close friends here my tip for meeting people is to be the one to make plans most likely people will say yes did that a lot freshman year and first year postgrad i feel like feels a lot like freshman year like everyone's trying to find their like friends in the city and meet new people and stuff and so a lot of people right now are open to like going out and meeting new people so now is the time to invite people although i think this with like any person you want to be friends with you should just be the person to invite others and make the plans if you want plans with people don't be scared to make the first move anyways we're going to dinner we're going pretty early our reservations at 5 30 so we can make the happy hour probably come back here and just edit all night i have a video due to a brand tomorrow this will be a good like 
break even though I've just been reading for the past like hour so that was also a break but this is another instance of me going out of the apartment which will be good for me and to socialize and have human interaction Ugh, I'm making a mess because I'm trying to brush I'm like dying to wash my hair I really like this new vanity setup I have. In my last apartment, I didn't like ever sit to do my makeup. I always stood and did it in the bathroom. Do some of this Kosa Splash. I've been liking her. It's a little shimmery. They sent me like every single color in this collection, and so I gave one to like literally all my friends. Um, but this is shade Blush. Wait, Swoon. Blush is Life. I think it's maybe the collection. I don't know. Little lip liner. Then I think I'm gonna put on jeans that fit me a little more. I also got from Revolve. I will link them. I got them like two years ago and they're actually my favorite. It's been five minutes, so I gotta go throw this back. My hair is so gross. Okay, thinking ponytail. I keep trying to wear this charm necklace today, but I just don't think it's gonna work. Maybe I'll do this little pearl. With the Love Shack Fancy Country Scott Locket. Cute. I'm gonna do this perfume. Flare solar power. Spray some on my hair because it's probably it's so gross. Already. Good morning, guys. It is now day two of the stay in the life vlog. I just kind of stopped filming last night. Happy hour was really good. Another tip that I forgot to say that I did last night. It's always fun to make plans for the next time that you want to see each other. That way, like, when you leave, you already have something in the future, even if it's not a set time, but, like, talk about, like, oh, we should do this together. So, our plan in the future is next week, we're all going to see a movie together and going to dinner before. So fun, such a good group. It's eight o'clock, did not sleep again. Here's the issue. One, I stayed up till, like, 11.30 editing a video and watching the Olympics, which was fun. And then I like, tried to go to sleep because I was tired, but guys, like, I think I'm just actually unhealthily addicted to reading. Whenever I'm into a book, it really affects with my sleep, and the issue is I got into this book because I was having trouble sleeping, so like already I'm behind. I was just tossing and turning, I was like, I really just want to read this book. <laughs> So I did, and I stayed up till 2 a.m., and I finished the third book of the selection series, the third and final. Now, hopefully tonight, I can sleep in peace, and I'm not starting another book until I have my life a little bit more together. Just a lot of editing to do this morning, a little thing to film, so I'm just kind of doing, like, light makeup for the day, because I feel like that helped me yesterday, like, stay on top of things and stay motivated and productive. We got a table yesterday for a living room, like a folding table, but it came from Amazon, and it obviously had, like, been opened before, and it was a little scratched up, but I tried to return it yesterday, and it wasn't working, so I need to figure that out today. I actually genuinely am gonna go to the gym today, I think, at, like, around... 1 p.m. maybe? I need to finish editing first. I'm excited for lunch because I have the other half of my Caesar wrap. That's something to look forward to. I'm gonna make my coffee this morning in my apartment. Today's gonna be a good day. Oh, and tonight I'm going to like this Apple session. Apple stores like always have like little learning sessions, I feel like. Um, whether, yeah, they just like, if you live near an Apple store, you should see. But the session tonight, it's how to remake your dorm room, which obviously I am not in college. I'm never gonna live in a dorm again, but the designer who's coming to speak designed the Barbie dream house in LA and like we're going and learning how to make like a mood board and a design board with the iPad so excited about that but gotta work until then here's my little comfy cozy outfit of the day <laughs> Let's make my coffee this morning. Got these. Let's make my coffee together. Let's make my coffee together. I bought these. Bought these glasses. Okay, it's almost noon. I've just been editing on my computer. I was on my couch. Now I'm sitting at my desk. I'm about to call my uncle because guys i am planning a trip to japan with him this is my uncle that i get my like free flights through because he's a flight attendant he has two weeks off in october honestly it's been a little chaotic so that's why we're getting on the phone because i was like we need to actually talk this through because all of a sudden he texted me and he was like our flights are booked and i was like okay but 
what's the plan <laughs> so i've been spending the last 30 minutes like going through spreadsheet notes and stuff so we can talk through this trip it's kind of stressing me out but i'm actually insanely excited like this is all i we had kind of talked about it but i didn't think it was actually gonna happen and now it's happening and in the past 24 hours it's really like progressed our flights are booked so excited for that then after this gonna eat my wrap and finish editing i still have a little bit more to do but i'm almost done with my move in video part four which should already be up by now i almost done with the music and then just have to like watch it all the way through and do some final touches i'm gonna call my uncle we had a meeting set at 12 so still slowly working on my coffee i hope he answers he's kind of hard to get it to hold off but we had a hey hi okay 30 minute call was really great feeling a lot better about our plan so if y'all have any recs please let me know we're going to tokyo kyoto and osaka i believe now i'm gonna enjoy my other half of my lunch wrap so usually when i'm editing a video i like watch it through a couple times usually just like one time but as i'm watching i'll like start editing like i'll catch mistakes and stuff um so that's kind of like my last process in editing a video but when they're longer it takes longer so i'm gonna sit and basically like watch my own youtube video while i eat my lunch you and me are the same right now both watching one of my videos Hello. i also like to put on my headphones for this usually i like to edit without headphones but then i like to see like what the audio sounds like for my fellow headphone users gonna be honest that outing was not what i hoped for um i'm dripping in sweat because it's so hot outside the subway was so hot i just didn't i didn't want to go outside my legs hurt so bad like they're just so swollen my joints almost feel like i'm sick if i wasn't like feeling completely fine in my head like no other symptoms but just my body is so tired and i have to keep reminding myself that yes like i've gotten like no sleep for the past three days from what i'm used to so it's fine but i'm just exhausted and yeah just brought up two packages so that's like kind of exciting i'll update y'all what we got I'm gonna unbox those because then i'm gonna go downstairs and do laundry even though that is something i don't want to do either because i know it's gonna be hot down there too but I'm actually leaving for Mississippi tomorrow morning, like super early. I need to do some some laundry before I leave. So I think I'm just gonna do one load. I'm going to move in my sister. So I'm excited for that. I'm excited to see like my mom and stuff, but not excited to pack because I need to do that. Also, I guess this has turned into a two day in my life vlog. My meal gave me a little boost of energy, but honestly, not enough. Oh, I'm so hot. <laughs> okay, just put my laundry down. I opened the two packages too and i'm actually pretty excited about them <laughs> feeling good I'm gonna show y'all actually just like updates to my room in general from the last move in vlog i don't think i showed y'all but i got this dresser and i really love it this is like i still need to clean that obviously but i made like this little cute corner right now i don't know if it'll stay like this like i might hang i don't know yet but i thought it was like very symmetrical with my mirror in the same lamp over there 
and thought that was cute then i got a desk chair but just temporarily someone in my building was like moving out and like was giving it away and so i've been sitting in that then more seating arrangements actually i if y'all watch my moving vlog we're doing like a folding table over here um and chairs folding chairs so we have some place to sit and eat and these are way cuter than i thought they would be and they fold up like this and they actually like are so comfortable this is what just came in um really excited about this like you can lean back i think they're so cute got these on amazon and then I mentioned we have like a cabinet going here and that has arrived it's in a box right here i just don't have the energy to put it together then also our table arrived but it arrived like super scratched up i'll show you all the box like it's obvious that this box has been like opened and been through a lot um but this is kind of you can see like the color of the table but it's super scratched up so we got that yesterday then when i was downstairs doing my laundry um, someone was giving away these two frames. I grabbed them because I don't know if Lauren wanted them or if I wanted to put them in my gallery wall. Like I said in my last video, my gallery wall is like a little unfinished. But the second package I got was this frame that I think I'm going to replace this gold Audrey Hepburn frame with. And it kind of matches the dark wood of like my desk and everything. Also excited about that. I think that's all of the apartment updates as of right now. better than the gold as the, for the second i think i'm going to still get a mat for it honestly this frame is a little expensive for it not to come with a mat yeah we'll see i'm not obsessed but i think i like it better than this gold one but i'll probably keep the gold one for a bit if i want to switch it back out okay guys winding down for the night decided not to go to that apple thing just because i wasn't feeling great and took a shower talked to my mom feeling a little bit better i think i'm just really stressed i'm still feeling like super tired and like not 100 but i think most of it is kind of mental i did my laundry need to put that away kind of as i'm putting it away i'm gonna pack my suitcase there's really not that much i need for the weekend because we're just moving her in and it's mississippi so don't need to like bring anything extravagant so hopefully it'll be quick and easy to pack yeah hopefully i'll be able to fall asleep tonight thank you all for watching today and yesterday's video i love you all so much go follow me on instagram if you aren't already subscribe if you aren't already one for the move-in vlog of my sister two for just like more near content and hopefully i'll just feel more adjusted i really think that's also just what it comes down to is i'm not feeling i don't know it's just new um and moving to a new place it's hard and especially if that place is new york city and so I'm just figuring it out. And so I just have to give myself grace and know that it's not going to feel amazing every second. But I'm still, like, loving my life here and I'm still so happy and up for the challenge. So, yeah. Love you all so much. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.